Okay, welcome back to my Minimax 1100R build. And uh, I wanted to catch you up. Um, what I, all I did, all I did since the last time, uh, well, since the last video, is I went ahead and got the rest of the routing done on all of the edges now. So we're routed, we're routed all the way through. And I did, I did get to add these, uh, add this piece to the top of, uh, of this member here, which, uh, which gave me what I needed to make this nice smooth route all the way down and around. And, uh, so, so that's, uh, that's all really good. I'm all, all done up here, uh, except, you know, I just have a little tidying up to do on some of these corners right here. Uh, I'll take care of that. This one fared in nice. This one didn't quite make it. Uh, but there's a little lip here, so I'll just take a round uh, sanding block and take care of that. I still have to get this piece uh, back up in here, and I'll uh, I'll take try and take care of that today. I'll get this angle, and uh, I'll I'll find a piece of what I want to put up there just to make sure that's got plenty of support. And you know it is it is it's got a structural function here. It's it's. You know, it's doing a lateral support along with the firewall, along with this piece. Um, so they're all kind of doing their part, so they might as well reinforce it. Just saying it's, it's not just a trim piece, it's actually... All right, so here's the, uh, here's the plan for what we're, uh, what we're gonna be working on. Basically, we have to build um, two of these. And so I've gotta cut some, uh, some RS-14, uh, which is this vertical member here. And then I've got to cut some more RS9, which I don't have any more of. And then, uh, and then there's some RS12 up here at the top. So, uh, and then we've got a triangle piece that's cut out of RS14. And uh, then we've got a piece of RS6, which I have plenty of that. So, so anyway, I'll get this kind of sketched out on the table, um, and I'll just work off of my some lines that I already have that I know are square to the uh, that are square to here so uh, can't see them at the moment but here's one as an example <laughs> so I'll probably work off of that go this way and uh, get my brush obviously and get all this sawdust off of here because uh, the routing was a bit a bit messy but it sure looks nice so yeah, all right, so I'm gonna get uh, set up. Oh, and what I did is um, uh, this, this lumber yard where I get my uh, um, Douglas fir from, uh, unfortunately, they don't let you pick. And uh, I, actually, I actually asked them for a board and I, I made the assumption that I was pulling from the same pile that uh, we were pulling from before and I tried to explain to the guy what I needed and um, anyway I had him cut it before I saw it which wasn't good but anyway he came back with a board that's just was just completely not usable for me as you can see it's got uh, I mean it's a beautiful piece of wood don't get me wrong and I'll definitely make something really cool out of it just not just not an airplane um, but anyway, <laughs> there's a there's another place up the street that will let you browse all day through their through their uh, lumber supply, and so I found some really nice uh, Western Hemlock. Um, they had some uh, some really good Western Hemlock boards. They're basically tongue and groove floorboards, three quarters of an inch thick. The uh, uh, one sec there a couple of sections of this of the shorter board has some really nice really nice grain structure and um but the longer board um this one here the longer one actually has uh some long runs of of uh, very straight very tight grain so i'm gonna make my landing gear out of that and uh and Hem hemlock is another really good uh stronger than the uh uh, stronger than whew, stronger than spruce and 
and but a, a bit heavier like the Douglas Spur. So um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get to milling some of this down. Um, I know that's three quarter by three quarter. I know that's three inches by three quarter, and I'll have to find out what the RS12 is, and then we'll get uh, we'll get busy making something instead of me just here yapping on so all right let's do this All right, so we'll get our, uh, get our drawing out here. All right, we are 21 inches, which is defined by our board here. So I'm just gonna double check um, that my line is what it should be. And uh, it is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and darken that a little. leg pieces here will just go against the fence. This is the bottom at uh, three inches wide. <clears throat> and then at 21 inches down here, just going to make a mark. What I've got is my, let's put this the way I'm drawing it so I can show this to you. So I'm just looking at it like this, in this plan form here. This is my 21 inch piece. So I've got my square line to my fence right here. And then I mark the other end of it. Let's back that up a little bit. There we go. Then I mark the other end of it. And that line just runs out to 16 inches, which is right here um, from this corner uh, to that corner. Good thing we checked because it's actually 17 inches, not 16. Um, 17 inches, so I gotta go, gotta get that extended another inch here. Um, let's do that real quick. This is why I uh, I double and oftentimes triple check everything. So 17 inches.
All right, there we go. So now what we have to do is we have to take we have to take this piece of RS9, and that actually runs out. It runs from uh, this corner all the way out to our 17-inch mark um, out here. So we will um, figure out what that angle is. I'll draw that line, and I just made myself a little a little mark right here so that we can come in here and draw this diagonal. We'll figure out the angle, and then we can cut our RS9 to go from the bottom of our uh, the bottom of the three-inch wide piece here, the um, uh, RS14 or whatever it is, yeah, 14, all the way out to that point, and then we'll cut it off. It'll get cut out here, obviously, and then we can figure out what how to fit the uh, fit the piece in between here, which is the RS12, which is an inch and a half by three quarter. So, um, let, me, uh, let me grab a ruler, uh, draw this line, and then uh, once I get that line in place, then we will put our block back in here, and we will figure out uh, what this angle is, which we don't need the block to do. You know what I mean. It might be helpful, though. Okay, we're just going to run through this real quick, just one more time. Um, Twenty-one inches. Twenty-one inches. Seventeen inches. And on our plan, seventeen inches. So we're good there. Black in here. Turn on the uh, angle finder here. Make sure it's zeroed out. And then Mine works out to 33.2 degrees. So. so now we go back over here. Do some switch out.
I've got all the, the main pieces cut um, and matched. Everything. I checked them all in the uh, in the jig here that you that you saw. <clears throat> got my corner piece in here, uh, which is just 45 cut on the uh, same three inch material here. I actually had another piece of uh, material that I wanted to use up, so we got that here. And, uh, and then this uh, RS6 actually comes right to the end of, kind of comes right into this corner here. And it's at 90 degrees to this front member, so just trying to position it. Position it where it goes. I'll just kind of make a mark of where I'm going to come in at two different angles, so I'm actually overlapping both pieces. So, um, I'll just go cut this real quick and see how it see how it turns out. Then we'll just take our sanding block here and kind of match up the other part of that. So thanks for hanging out with me today. You know I do appreciate it. And uh, um, as always, it's uh, you know it doesn't matter what you get done. You're you're still uh, you're still moving forward. So and that's really the most important thing. And so what we got uh, what we got done today was uh, both of uh, we got both of all the parts cut for the uh, for the main structure of the landing gear. The other stack is right here, ready to fit. I tested both sets, they, they fit really well. So, um, so that's good. And then uh, once, once this is uh, dry, um, you actually go back and, uh, and this gets sheeted 
on uh, both sides with a uh, 16th inch plywood and then that uh, creates support and then you round off the, the front edge and the back edge. Uh, and then there's some things to do setting up for the uh, landing gear. And uh, I'm actually headed out to Aircraft Spruce right now. I've got to pick up my, uh, my axle and the other two aluminum support tubes and some other miscellaneous hardware. Um, my shipment from Team with my uh, wheels, tail wheel, uh, tires, tubes, um, all that, all that stuff, and the control cables and all that. That's supposed to be arriving. Um, I think they're going to ship it out maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, you never know, but soon it's going to be here really soon. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to get on the road, head out there, get what I need. So I'll be set up when it's time to uh, go to the next step here and we can get uh, this landing gear put together, get it mounted to the plane and, uh, and go, uh, go from there. It'll be cool when it gets on its gear, but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'll catch you later.